The following feature has been rated F for family entertainment. Hello, and welcome to TMP Cyberlink Studios. It has been over a decade since I have experience with one of the best editing softwares. The Cyberlink Power Director, breaking new ground in multimedia animation, audio, and superb editing skills. In addition, I have been researching a variety of other franchises focusing the priorities of safety, comfort, family entertainment, and nostalgia. Most average consumers, in contrast, are looking for more thrilling content, like games from the brand spanking new PS5, flashy exterior designs on cars, and popular movies, regardless of age restrictions. Today, while taking a break from Elevator Photography, due to the pandemic phenomenon, I want to bring back Destination Nostalgia with the top 10 franchises that I hope to see more from in the near future. Most video games are addictive by nature. For examples, Minecraft and Fortnite. However, some people did not discover the nostalgia in many others back in the 90s and 2000s. The one franchise amazingly brought it in 2018. Paw Patrol. It made a great start, with two games for the Nintendo Switch and other consoles. In addition, the first Paw Patrol movie is due out this summer. A game based on a new movie would be a wonderful idea, bringing new and exciting missions and puzzles to discover in a 3D adventure. Most young gamers miss the pup's voice talent in the first two games. Therefore, adding them will boost the fun and nostalgia. For some people that prefer a bit more spice in entertainment and gameplay, the next ideas are Rugrats and the Wild Thornberries, both created by Klasky Sapo. These two nostalgic cartoon shows were huge hits back in the 90s and early 2000s. What's more is that they are loaded with games to add more excitement. For now, only the Rugrats show is planned for revival, with brand new 3D CGI graphics, while the Wild Thornberries are yet to be announced. While waiting, my only hope is for the two cartoon shows to have brand new console-based games, based on imaginative slash jungle-filled adventures. But what if you are looking for some popular video games based on YouTube celebrities? For me, it is nothing too popular. However, one of the best ideas I came up is... Plush Time Wins. You may think I am crazy. However, I encountered these awesome arcade couple in the Plush Time Wins World Tour back in 2019. It was an epic experience. Which lead me to an idea of a video game based on Angel and Crystal's adventures around the world. This will also feature spin-offs of games found in arcades as bonuses, where you would interact at home or on the go. To find my meet and greet with Plush Time Wins, either click on the link in the description below, or my brand new Instagram post coming soon.
the next two franchises were outdated. However, I wish to look back and expand their visionaries, starting with Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. It was a great show back in early 2000s. The one expansion I am hoping to see is Jimmy's robotic canine, Goddard. Video games about him would not only add nostalgia, but cuteness as well. For example, interacting with Goddard on both the PC and mobile devices, similar to interacting with him as a toy back in 2001, but with more actions with abundance of animations and sound effects synchronized together, mind-challenging games like Memory and Puzzles, landscapes and ambient music for appropriate theme, and much more. Another example will be a Space Invaders-like video game about Goddard defending planet Earth against Yokians for the Nintendo Switch and other consoles. The next franchise will also have some dog-themed visionaries. However, the theme is more tropical. I am talking about... Rio. Unfortunately, Disney has shut down Blue Sky Studios, which leave people mourning about them for a long time. That said, our hope is not lost for Rio when we find some people bright enough to make it happen. My hope is for the third Rio movie, along with new games, focusing primarily on the slobbery bulldog friend named Luis. I do have a few theories about him. For example, Luis only appeared in the beginning and end of Rio 2. How did he get from Rio de Janeiro to the Amazon rainforest where Blue and his friends migrated? Another example is that the third movie's plot used to be for Blue and his friends to migrate to Miami for a huge party. Luis loves to follow the birds. However, this could be an epic challenge for him since Miami is found in a different continent. That is why video games for the Switch and others about Luis would be a tropical blast, using his bark and drool skills to get to his friends before it's too late. Finally, like Goddard, you will eventually interact with Luis on the PC and mobile devices. The differences are not only the landscapes and ambient music, but games and treats slash toys to fetch. Movies are one way of entertaining us, either with laughter, horror, action, or others. Some lead to nostalgia. My visions with movies are not only nostalgia, but family entertainment as well. I have discovered that some franchises need to complete their trilogies. I did mention about Rio with the third movie earlier, but that is not the only one. For one of the three examples, I heard about a rumor of some story that happened in the end of the second movie from The Nut Job. After the credits, there is one antagonist named Raccoon stranded in the ocean. However, he is nearby to the city. Eventually, he will survive and plan a revenge on Shirley, the main protagonist in the first two movies. Therefore, adding the third Nadja movie would not only complete the trilogy, but make the plot strengthen to the point where the excitement is not over. Although this current section is all about movies, some franchises would also have the addition of video games as well, starting with SpongeBob SquarePants. The good news is, 
that the new SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run, is now available for streaming after a long delay all because of the pandemic. What is missing, however, is the US DVD release. Not only that, I also hope to see a video game based on it for consoles. It would complete the SpongeBob movie game trilogy as well. For the next franchise, I hope you change into your swimming clothes, because it is going to be a wet one. I got a feeling that a dolphin is coming, and ready to make a big splash. That is... Bernie the Dolphin. The first two movies from this franchise are incredibly nostalgic, with spectacular dolphin moments and sounds. Their plots are excellent as well. What I looked forward to is the third movie from Bernie the Dolphin. It was mentioned in the behind the scenes video in the second movie. In addition, a video game based on Bernie the Dolphin would make things even more splashtastic. You will eventually play as Bernie and the two kids in an open 3D adventure. To add more fun and nostalgia, the simulation mode will let you interact with him, a dream to become a dolphin trainer. For those of you that want to hear more about dolphins, I am sure you will like... Flipper. This more familiar franchise has two original movies from the 60s, and one 1996 remake. They are all great, Though the remake is more nostalgic in my opinion. What I wished for is another movie remake about Flipper, with a new adventurous story, in addition with a 3D action adventure video game based on that, to wrap up the nostalgia. Cars are one way of transporting from one place to another. Consequently, some unexpectedly lead to accidents or hit and runs anywhere, on or off road. Therefore, my top priority is safety, and I expect all cars to have safety systems standard in the near future. Thankfully, one car company, in my opinion, offers the safest technology, even on a budget. That is... Subaru. The Subaru Outback, as seen here, has plenty of standard features. They include the popular eyesight safety suite and blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. IIHS awards this as a top safety pick plus, even for the newer models. While this is still a great car, especially with all-wheel drive, my other concern is intersections. Therefore, adding new radar cameras will help me, as well as the rest of us, see them better, without other vehicles obstructing the view. In addition, the Alpac does have a few available color options for the seats. Slate black, titanium gray, and warm ivory. The touring trim, however, comes with only Java brown. I wish for them to add one more color option, like blue, which matches not only my exterior coat of the car, but the logo as well.
all these additions for the top 10 selected franchises are important, even part of my complete collection. Without them, even some companies like Disney prevent them from happening, there will not be a complete story. What makes matters worse is that Destination Nostalgia, like the music, will be silenced from existence. To prevent that ever so gloomy tragedy, I am going to need your help. All it takes is superb collaboration, hard work, and magnificent dedication in order to make Destination Nostalgia rise with pride and the beautiful music roar within your soul. So, with that covered, it is now your turn. What other franchises do you hope to complete your collection in the near future? Please let me know in the comments section below. I do appreciate and thank you for your attention and watching this video. More events are coming soon as we unveil the wonders of Destination Nostalgia. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you next time.